crackberry.com. Hey everybody, Kevin here from crackberry.com and we are going a little bit behind the scenes of what the future of the playbook is going to look what, look like. I'm with Chris Smith from Research in Motion and two of the guys from TAT that we always hear so much and talk so much about, uh, Rasmus and Carl. So we are going to look at, well, walk us through it. It's all sure. yours, Chris. So um, what I want to talk a little bit about today is, I mean, we've, we've seen and heard, uh, you know, how we're using TAT in the platform today with you know, applications like Scrapbook, which just went up on App World yesterday, and, uh, and the Picture Viewer. I mean, these are, these are two applications where we're already using, uh, using TAT uh, technology on the platform behind the scenes. Uh, but what I want to talk a little bit to is about our, our vision for taking this technology and really baking it into everything that we do and putting it in the hands of, uh, of our developers. So, uh, so you see something like a, an application here, which is it's kind of a scrolling news reel at the bottom and, uh, and a you know, nice 3D mesh of a globe uh, on top. And what uh, you see is as you, as you click on one of the news stories, you get a little animated pop-up with, uh, with additional detail. And the globe uh, behind the scenes is spinning. So these are the kind of effects that TAT is renowned for. I mean, they have, they have just built these, this reputation for being able to deliver these mind-blowing effects. And the engine and framework behind the scenes that is doing this uh, is, is what really enables that uh, from a development perspective. So we want to take that and, again, put it in the hands of, of third-party developers and make it easy for them to access this kind of function. So you don't actually have to code all of the, um, you know, the the complex code to do the, the graphics and the effects and the behaviors, you know, we can bake that into the framework and then provide a simple binding uh, through a markup syntax and then the language of your choice uh, to, to be able to, to do these effects. So, um, so what we'll, uh, we'll do is show a couple more uh, examples and then, and then just take a quick look in the, in the IDE. So do you want to put the, um, the contacts? So this, the second example is, uh, is taking a contact list and then applying a kind of visual transform and a number of effects on it. So again, you look at it from a developer perspective, you may think, you know, to get the richness of all of the, uh, the animation and the motion and the 3D effects, I mean, this could be, you know, a ton of code. So you can see it's, it's tied into the accelerometer. Oh, oh man. Okay. So as we tilt, you get kind of additional detail and, uh, and effects. So this is all backed by, by data, which you would be able to plumb in through uh, the service APIs that we provide on the platform. Um, so, you, you know, something simple like this, you can think of a ton of different applications. Uh, I mean, it's a very, very simple pattern, scrolling list with a bunch of data, uh, dynamic data, and then, and then adding some, some kind of visual effects to just kind of, you know, push the experience over the top. I mean, this is really what, what TAT is all about, and this is, this is how we intend to, to kind of push forward with this, this platform. So to give us that kind of consistent richness across the, uh, you know, the development environments in, in, our, in our platform. Um, so now if you want to just take a quick look, uh, Rasmus has the, uh, the actual markup syntax behind the scenes. You can see where we have, uh, you know, the contacts which are, you know, baked right into the application right now. Um, maybe you can describe a little bit uh, what, what we have here and how it relates to what's in the, in the app, uh, sure. Rasmus. So, yeah, and on top here we have some, just the dummy data. Um, obviously that would be from the real services if we would go go like a real application. We have some controls, um, basic basic elements like images, um, a list, defining the list, the, the, the main list here. Um, and then because this is, a, uh, is still in 3D, we will have to have viewports and cameras describing the, uh, the viewport or the 3D area. And then regular 3D transformations describing the, the various rotations, um, items describing the, uh, the, the each item here, uh, which will consist of some simple text, images, rectangles, and then put into surface and used in the 3D context to, to be rotated. I think that the, the key point here is that, I mean, this is you're configuring the experience. You're setting the parameters on how you want it to be displayed. You're plugging in the data sources, and I mean, you aren't coding. Coding, yeah, this is uh, something the, I could kind of figure the, out. The, the visuals, yeah. I mean, certainly there are going to be a ton of extension points, and when you're working in the uh, the NDK, I mean, this is just one of the tools in your toolbox in terms of building right. you know, the graphical UI. Uh, but it, it opens up the power that's behind TAT, 
and and makes it accessible to developers. And okay. that's what uh, that's what we're really driving for. So we're in the month of May now. It's BlackBerry World, so DevCon's in the fall. That's kind of the time Absolutely. frame we're probably shooting for. I'm guessing. I think uh, I think yeah, you'll have to you have to make your way down to DevCon and see where we we end up with this. We're still figuring out exactly how we want to approach it in terms of providing those those language bindings. Um, you know, to make it really accessible to, to the developer, but this is this is the direction that we're uh, we're headed. So, bottom line message is all the the cool stuff from the TAT engine, all yep. the cool effects are coming to third party developers and coming to will our be relatively coming very to, easily. Uh, yeah. to third parties, absolutely. Oh, that's right, coming to the playbook itself too. So, we're going to see the playbook change a lot in it in itself over the next you know several months and. Yeah. Cool. It's fun. It's uh, it's a fun toy to get these. Uh, We're excited about that. <laughs> well, yeah. not toy. Fun gadget. But I like getting updates and, and seeing things change. So. Yeah, I think we we are really committed to really pushing the limits in terms of what you know rich UI will be on on the the platform going forward. Great. And uh, I mean the work that these guys do in terms of giving the engine the framework to to make that all happen. Is, is incredible so okay perfect well thanks a lot guys that's uh, that's really exciting and I think everybody's gonna be pumped for it awesome cool, cool. thank you